today I am going to show you what to do with ripe bananas. I've got four easy ripe banana recipes. I found these two bags full of bananas that are super ripe and needing to be used. One's even organic but I've got all of these bananas and I'm going to make all kinds of yum treats for my kids and I thought I'd share the video with you to give you some ideas that if you are lucky enough to find some ripe bananas or have a whole lot of ripe bananas on your kitchen counter and not sure what to do with them. I've got ideas in this video and in the blog post down below. I've got even more ideas, so be sure to click through for that. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment too, let me know your favorite ways to use ripe bananas. So I'm gonna start with a smoothie and let me show you how to make it. So I use my Nutribullet so everything goes straight into my smoothie cup. I'm gonna pop one of the big ripe bananas in, followed by a cup of milk. You can use any milk you want. I actually prefer using oat milk lately. I prefer it to dairy milk, but just use any milk you like. So we've got a cup of milk going in. And I'm actually having this as like a breakfast kind of thing. So I'm going to add in a third of a cup of rolled oats. So this is going to be like a whole meal of a smoothie. Breakfast smoothie, I suppose. And I feel that this almost reminds me of one of those OT bars. So I'm going to put a bit of golden syrup in, just barely a teaspoon. But you can skip the sweetness or you could add in honey or maple syrup. Or if you prefer it to be sugar free -ish, you could put some stevia in. Really up to you. Let's get every drop of the maple, of the golden syrup out. Now if you want, you could also pop in some peanut butter. That would go so well in this. Just real like whole protein breakfast smoothie. But I'm just going to leave it like that and we're going to blend it up now. And we'll just pop the smoothie on to blend. There you go. It's nice and smooth. I'll just pour it out into a glass. Here you go. It smells pretty good. Oh, so, oh, that is my first <laughs> way to enjoy bananas when they're super ripe. I'm going to clean that up and enjoy my smoothie and keep watching for loads more easy ideas for ripe bananas. And my next ripe banana recipe is no-bake cookies. I'm going to mash up my banana, add some oats and peanut butter, golden syrup, just four ingredients. Going to make some really yum cookies. I'm going to start by mashing the banana in a bowl till it's smooth and mashed. Okay, it's nice and mashed. And now I'm going to add in a cup of oats. I'm going to swap the fork for a spoon and just give it a little mix through. Banana is well incorporated, and now we'll melt the golden syrup and peanut butter together. So I've got a heaped third cup. This, this tub is pretty much finished, so I've just finished off this tub of peanut butter, huge tub of peanut butter. And um, I'm doing a third of a cup of peanut butter. And now for golden syrup, it depends how sweet you want it. Two to four tablespoons is what I suggest. So just depends how much of a sweet tooth you had. Um, I'm going to actually just split the difference and go three-ish heaped tablespoons of golden syrup beautifulness. And now we'll just pop it over heat to just melt and get nice and creamy. You can see I've just got it over heat here in my saucepan. Just keep stirring it and once it's smooth and creamy then we'll take it off the heat. Peanut butter is all nice and smooth and creamy so I've moved it off the heat already and I'm going to mix it in with my oats. So just mix it all through until we've got a cookie batter. So just get it all nice and incorporated. You can actually turn this into bars as well, it's up to you. But I quite like having a little bite sized cookie perfection. Okay, now we'll form our cookies. So I've lined a cookie sheet with well greased baking paper and just take pretty much a teaspoon per cookie, flatten it down. You could do a tablespoon if you want bigger ones, but I'm quite happy having smaller bite-sized cookies. So about a teaspoon each, just pop it down. And we'll just fill the tray with cookies. OK, 
okay I've filled my tray with cookies and now I just need to go in the fridge not the oven the fridge to just harden up so in a few hours once they're hardened I'll show you the cookies when they're done so the cookies have been in the fridge for a few hours and if you have a look at one they've hardened up nicely they're just beautiful cookies and just keep them in the fridge and they'll keep for a few days but between my kids and I we'll get through these pretty quickly but yeah the recipe for these is down below for these lovely cookies they only need a few ingredients as you saw and they're no bake so it keeps the oven clear but you can make some lovely cookies and for my next recipe with ripe bananas, I've made these pancakes. This is that recipe with just two ingredients that's been going around on the internet forever. You basically mash up one banana until it's nice and smooth. And then you whisk in two eggs and get a nice, smooth, creamy pancake batter. And then heat up oil, coconut oil, butter in a frying pan. Drop a couple of tablespoons per pancake and just cook until it's nice and golden on both sides. And then you've got these lovely pancakes, but I'll list the recipe in the information down below as well so that you can follow along. But it's really easy to make. As you've seen, these easy pancakes, two ingredients with the ripe banana and two eggs. And yeah, I'll just show you one more lovely ripe banana recipe in this video and for my final ripe banana recipe i'm making a chia pudding i've got one of my smaller sized bananas over here i'm going to use maple syrup to sweeten and now for the liquid you could either just use all your all milk uh, a cup of milk or you could use yogurt i like doing 50 50 so i'm going to use a half a cup of oat milk a half a cup of yogurt and then chia seeds too and just mix it all together to make a chia pudding i'm going to start by mashing the banana which i've done for the few of the recipes today haven't i i'm just gonna mash the banana until it's creamy okay bananas nice and mashed and now we'll mix through the other ingredients so we'll pop a half a cup of milk of choice or you could just do one full cup if you don't want to do 50 50 milk and yogurt so we've got half a cup of milk a half a cup of yogurt and just give it a stir through and we'll add in a quarter of a cup of chia seeds And we'll mix them through so they get well incorporated. Now, if you want a really smooth pudding, you can pop it into a blender. And then you've got a smooth chia pudding, but I quite like mine. Nice and thickened. And now, for sweetness, I'm just going to add in some maple syrup. Really depends how sweet you want it. And if you've used yogurt, that needs a bit of sweetening. So, yep, yeah, one to two tablespoons should do it. You can give it a little taste and see if it's sweet enough for you. Just add more until it is. And just make sure all the chia seeds are submerged. So I'm happy with that. And now pop it into the fridge for a few hours to thicken. And I'll show you once we've got our lovely thickened banana chia pudding. So the chia pudding has been in the fridge for a few hours and you can see it's thickened up beautifully. If you were to leave it in the fridge overnight you just have a beautiful breakfast and you can go and top it with some more banana with some more chia seeds, some nuts, a bit of grated chocolate or coconut, just loads of options and I'll write all that down in the blog post down below. But that is the video for today with all these lovely ideas for what to do when you've got ripe bananas. I've got loads more ideas and I'll just write heaps in the blog post down below so check that out for even more lovely ideas but that is the video for today thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos and comment to let me know your go-to way to enjoy bananas when they're extra ripe so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye